Let's find some new stuff. So this is a little fun Easter egg. This is a little fun, like um, like a like an Easter egg, if you will. So, um, Sidney Powell apparently went after Kelly Leffler, Loffler, Leffler, Leffler, Loff, Loffler. I don't know. She stole millions of dollars from the American people. I'm not interested in how her name is pronounced, but. So Trump's legal team is now asserting that Doug Collins, now if you remember, Doug Collins and Kelly Loeffler were running uh, against each other in the special election. Um, and then you had uh, Raphael Warnock and then like fucking Joe Lieberman's son or whatever. So Trump's legal team is now asserting that Doug Collins, not Kelly Loeffler, would be participating in the January 5th runoff if Brian Kemp hadn't rigged the voting machines. Does Loeffler agree? Or will she admit that the Trump campaign's claims of voter fraud are BS? So there's a little bit of infighting here. And uh, now they're trying to walk it back as well, but this is still really funny. So we don't know who brought, bought their election. I'm sure it crosses party lines. I'm reasonably certain John James was ripped out of his seat and he was entitled to having won that election by the real vote. And the same thing is true for Doug Collins of Georgia. Trump's legal strategy has never made any sense, but over the last few days, it has managed to become even more unhinged, right? And now this is what they walked back. So Trump campaign sent out an email. Sidney Powell is practicing law on her own. She is not a member of the Trump legal team. She is also not a lawyer for the president in his personal capacity. So accidentally starting like a fracture in the Republican Party. Oops, right? My bad. My bad. And then you have to walk it back. That's extremely funny. Um, that's extremely funny. And definitely, I want, to, I want to add on this. What's also really funny is how I saw this was Chris Murphy talking about it, which I think is really funny. Decent opposition work there, right? Like exploiting like a small fracture in your opposition. That's actually pretty good politics. I'm surprised a Democrat tweeted that out. But we'll see what happens with that. We'll see what happens with that. But um, I think that that's extremely funny. Extremely funny. And um, one of the things is, again, Doug Collins, he was big in the impeachment circus. He was huge on those committees. And, like, he would get on Fox News after every single impeachment hearing. So, like, he's, like, the cult of Trump guy. That's, like, the Trump cultist. Whereas Kelly Leffler is kind of more of, like, a, an in-between between, like, a classic kind of corrupt elite um republican but she's like really trying to be like a cipher but failing because she's out of touch you know like she still drinks her like soy with pinkies out you know what i mean and like sometimes she forgets to put the pinky away you gotta hide that pinky when you're you know we know when you're in a republican primary now she hid the pinky well enough right but I wonder if she only was able to hide that pinky because of Brian Kemp and voter fraud. I, w I wonder. I wonder.